YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's up, Shabo Original Dog Man? I'm gonna be I'm gonna expose something here for you guys in a second. I want you guys to hear this shit. This is the type of shit y'all need to pay attention to in this fragrance community. People like this, okay? People like this. Pay attention. All right, good morning, y'all. So What's up with that? Even if I smell it, could have been watered down before you sold it. All right, good morning, y'all. Tom Ford, Black Orchid. Picked that up yesterday from uh, Neiman Marcus. Book 55. Yeah. What you gonna do? Some guy was trying to sell me one online. Great unboxing. Trying to sell me one. <clears throat> on Craigslist, but man, it was like a hundred dollars. Like, cuz there's too many fakes out here stuff. Well, his girl bought it for me, he didn't like it. And that, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, well, yo, cuz, I gotta see a receipt from somewhere, cuz, it's gonna give you a hundred dollars on the fragrance. I don't know, uh. Okay, so a dude was gonna sell him Tom Ford Black Orchid on a Craigslist. Pay attention. Uh. You know, what's up with that? Even if I smell it, could have been watered down before you sold it to wherever the girl bought it from. So, finally, I mean, it started like 110. You wanted to sell it? Oh, man, you're getting a good deal. I'm like, well, you know, still don't know if it's real or not, man. So, I can't get down like that. If you had to show me a receipt, and I know you got it from Neiman Marcus or someplace reputable, and then we can talk, but you didn't, so, you know, I can't even trust if I smell it, I had to look at serial numbers and all that stuff, oh man, so the guy gets mad, he gets upset, and not mad, upset, but you know, he's tripping, $110, man, I've been seeing Tom Ford Black Orchid for cheaper, not $155, it's been cheaper, Let's, let's listen to what he has to say. He was really ready to take 80. <sighs> Tell me he's losing a lot of money. I'm like, well, if your girl bought it for you, how are you losing? So the dude was going to sell it to him for 80. Tom Ford Black Orchid, retail 155. He was going to he was gonna sell it to him for 80. That's kind of a good deal. What he wanted to take that deal was something different. He was to chance it. 80 bucks, that's designer price. 70, you can get like... Pure Havan, which is a good fucking fragrance. You know, any of the Terry Muglers for around 70. But <clears throat> this dude didn't want to take that. He didn't want to take that. It wasn't good enough for him. It wasn't safe. He didn't know if he mixed it. Any all that shit. Okay? But now pay attention to this shit here. I'm gonna fast forward the video just a little bit. Here we you know, go. Like, you can really smell that chocolate in the beginning. <sighs> chocolate. That's why the bottle is black and gold. Chocolate. You know, I think Tom Ford think he a brother anyway. I mean, anything black, he hanging around with Jay-Z and all of them. You know what I mean? It's, it's his thing, and it's whatever. You know, it's cool, cuz. Tom, uh, Tom Ford think he black and hanging around Jay-Z. You know who Jay-Z hang around? Jay-Z is a sellout. Illuminati, Freemasons, all that shit. He sell out, sold his soul to the devil. Jay-Z hang out with Maria Momokovic, the spirit cooker, the witch. Yeah. Kidnap children and shit. Spirit cooking. Eating off of naked people and dead bodies. Painting with piss and shit and sperm. That's who Jay-Z hang out with. You think Tom Ford cool? You think Jay-Z cool? You need to check yourself. Do some research. Since I saw some of your videos in the past talk about Republicans and Democrats and shit. You need to dig a little deeper. But let's listen to this shit here. But I do think your other stuff is a little overpriced. I can tell you that. So right now, I'm going to put this back in the box as I normally do, y'all, because y'all know how I do. Put it back in the box. So when it goes in the display case, you like I never open it. Could open it from the bottom. You see Neiman Marcus stick on there. They make sure that, you know, yeah, you got Neiman Marcus. See, if dude had to just show me something like that, I would have bought his for 80 bucks. But I still might go snatch it off of him just to have it. 
and then I can like decant it. And I won't have to use my new joint. I can just decant. He's still gonna go. He don't trust it. He's still gonna snatch it off of him just to have it, and he gonna decant it and give it to y'all, to his homeboys. Pay attention. The one he has. To all my homies who want to get into some black orchid. Once again, y'all, so I'm, I'm telling y'all, this is what I do. Oh, I forgot to spray it in my joint. My bad. So that's what he that's what he does. He go gets fake shit, shit he don't trust, and he give it to y'all. He gonna save his new joint, and he gonna give y'all the bullshit. Okay? See, that's that type of shit I be talking about, man. Even even if he even if he did get it and it was legit, right? And it was legit, he still decanted to y'all. That don't make no sense to me because why would you say that? Why you still go get it from him and still decan it and give it to y'all? Look, even if the juice was legit, one hundred percent, why would he say something like that? And why would he say I'll save my new joint and then I'll give y'all this one? If that, okay. if that shit ain't good enough for him now, then that shit ain't good enough for y'all later. Period. If that shit ain't good enough for him now, that shit is not good enough for y'all later. I don't want that shit. If you even have, if you even think of that shit as suspect, period, I don't want nothing to do with it. If that shit is stolen, I don't want nothing to do with it. Any negative energy that comes from that, I don't want nothing to do with it. It ain't passing to me, man. See, y'all don't understand that, that even the negative energy, the deceptive energy, even if you put deceptive energy, anything you give away from someone or give away to someone, that shit carries over to you. This is why I really don't like the accepting shit from y'all, and I don't like giving y'all shit. I don't, I don't like to buy back and forth unless I know that the product is legit and the energy is legit. And that there's love put behind that shit. Because if you give me something with negative energy attached to that motherfucker, that's what I say. Because I don't deal with that type of deal. I try not to. I hate the negative energy. I hate it. If it ain't good enough for him now, what makes you think it's going to be good enough for you later? Him is just saying that shit. I might just snatch it off of him and decan it to y'all. Snatch it off for him and decan it to y'all later. Think about that. Snatch it off of him for 80 bucks and decan it to y'all for 15 bucks and uh, uh, a sample. He getting over on y'all. Fuck y'all over. That's what he do. That's what he said. That's what he do. This dude's name is Roger Real Deep Cool Bars. Plays his guitars and shit. I already made one video on this dude. Exposing his BS about how he wants a woman. But he puts stipulations behind it. Look. I didn't really watch this dude's video. I unsubscribed to this dude. Alright. I unsubscribed to this dude. Look. Right there. Do you see where it says subscribe? Right there. I unsubscribe. I'm not even subscribed to that shit. Okay, so, so, I was at work, I had my earpiece on, and I had my phone charging, like 20 feet away, I couldn't get to my phone, so I was at work, so I just let that shit roll, let it play, and as I was playing, I was pay, playing it in my, in my ear, I was paying attention to what he was saying, and then it caught my, it caught my attention that this dude what he was saying, what he was doing was suspect. Because if you listen to the video, he said he bought Tom Ford's Black Orchid yesterday. Okay. Then he said, then he said he he saw someone online, which is supposed to be previous. He saw someone online who was selling Black Orchid for 110. Then he said, no, I don't want it. He said, no, I don't want it. Then later on in the video, he said he talked to the dude again, and the dude told him to bring back the Tom Orchid that he bought and buy his. 
in my mind, I'm like, so you you just deny the dude the money to buy his Tom Ford Black Orchid, yet now you're still fucking with him over Craigslist. Must be somebody you know. I don't know. You see how see how that story is crossing each other? Man, this dude, if you pay attention to this dude and analyze everything he fucking says, this is an old school cat that's full of bullshit. And I know motherfuckers like this left and right. Motherfuckers like this is only out for self. He ain't looking out for nobody. He don't give a fuck about nobody but himself. He gonna buy Tom Ford's Black Orchid for 80 bucks. Sell it to you for 15 and um, a sample. An ML or a couple of MLs. Whatever. And then he don't really know if it's 100% legit. Everything he says from when he bought his ex the black orchid and he sniffed it from from him buying it from the dude from Craigslist and buying that Tom Ford then flipping flopping back to saying that the dude says sell it back to Neiman Marcus and buy mine. <laughs> that shit was just like a menagerie of fuck bullshit. I felt negative energy and deceitfulness from this motherfucker, man. So this is my video for y'all. This is my video hoping that y'all see bullshit like this in this fragrance community and be careful. It's your boy Risen Dog, man. Peace out. I don't mean no harm to nobody. I'm just exposing bullshit like this. what I do. You don't like it? Get the fuck off my channel. Never come back. I'm not here to appeal to you bitches. Bye.